Michael has a quite an interesting story to tell about um, an archaeological dig that he went on that involved the Vikings. Ooh. Yeah, I heard, um, this is, you know, one of the great things about this show is, is that it's based on real things and real people. And it was good for me to get my hands dirty and, and, and to join in an archaeological dig at a site at a place called Repton in the Midlands of England, where a great Viking army led by Ivor the Bonus uh, had their winter camp uh, not long after these events. And they found three Viking graves in, in, in the camp. Uh, under the mounds. One contained the bodies of uh, the bones, the skulls and bones of 500 warriors, and it's interesting to note that 750 of them, uh, sorry, <laughs> that three quarters of them were male warriors and a quarter were female warriors. They found another, they found another grave which contained four juveniles from 7 to 17, and they had been sacrificial victims. And the third grave was what was called the warrior grave um, of a tall uh, warrior, badly mutilated, um, but with his sword and axe around. And he may be possibly either the bonus. Uh, and if so, I've held the tooth of either the bonus in my hand. But the thing was that they did some more exploration recently and discovered there were probably two other tombs. So I paid them a little bit of money so, so these academics could go back and volunteers could go back and, and dig up these tombs. And I went on two days and they found that they dug away and they'd revealed a, a mound. So that with every indication that, that this was a significant burial. And they'd also found some Viking ship nails in the mound which suggested, was very exciting because it suggested whoever was buried there was important and had been buried in a ship, which would mean that that was the first ship burial that had ever been discovered in, in England. Oh, wow. And I did, um, I was digging away my first morning as an archaeologist and I, and I found, I dug up a little bit of metal about four inches long and I said to the professor, I think I found another ship snail. And he said, he looked at it and he said, actually, I think this is a Viking arrowhead. And the amazing thing about this is that only four Viking arrowheads have ever been found in England. So, and I, it's, it, it, it suggests even more that this was an important grave and these were grave goods that were thrown into to the grave. So half an hour later, I dug up a second one. You know, my finders keep it. And, uh, <laughs> and the professor came, and I showed it to the professor, and he came over, and then his face fell. <laughs> in your pocket, Mike, got to take it up. His face fell, and he said, I've been digging for 35 years. <laughs> and you have been here for three and a half hours. <laughs> you should just put stuff in your pocket. <laughs> you it out. Yeah. Anyway. That's my story, and, and, and uh... <laughs>